This is going to be the biggest comeback story <laughs> ever in this game if this works. One person carrying the place until we can get the freaking gate up and operational. This is the last one. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby, and welcome back to After uh, Surviving the Aftermath. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for more Surviving the Aftermath and other videos. Now, we've got one sick person here. We're trying to build a fishing dock. We're completely out of food. We've got a trapper uh -huh. here, which now has all its materials and end is being made. We have this guy here who is running, but he is actually dead. So we were trying to build him a burial pit over here, which requires plastic. Uh, so that's the one guy that died. And right after he died, we finished our medical tent so that we could save him. Nuclear fallout, this is our first catastrophe going on right now. The horizon starts turning from blue to toxic green and the air seems to burn your lungs. These are the first signs of the impending danger. Intense radiation is a constant threat with both colonists and crops withering, colonists withering? <laughs> and dying during a nuclear fallout. New seeds cannot be planted before it's over. Severe cases of radiation sickness and thirst take their toll on everyone. Harvest crops before they wither. Gather iodine pills from the world map. We can't do that. Build more medic tents or assign more workers to an existing one. All right. So I do not see how I can assign more people. It used to just be that there are more, more squares and you just click on them to, um, to assign more people. But... I don't see that that is the case right now. No carriers left. Okay, that's a problem. Can I? So we have nine people, six workers, and three children. Ooh, what's this? Innocence lost. A small girl approaches you with watery eyes and snot running from her nose. I can't find my cat. Please, she must have run away. I can't sleep without her. She keeps me safe. The girl begs, her voice cracking. You could send someone to comb the nearby woods, but is it really worth it? Yeah. <laughs> happiness plus eight. See, I knew we were going to get a happiness bonus if we did it and a happiness penalty if we did not do it. A few colonists venture out to look for the cat. The girl is beaming with joy, but you know that success is uncertain. However, the party soon returns with a massive white cat who, judging by the fish the party is also carrying, had been hunting by the nearby river. Lady Fuzzy Whiskers, the girl... <laughs> Lady Fuzzy Whiskers, the girl squee squeeze, embracing the cat who immediately begins to purr. Oh, I made my people happy. Okay, so we did that. What are we doing? We're low on food, no carriers left. A little friend has been lost. We fixed that. Nuclear fallout incoming... Days before catastrophe strikes one. Okay. With our oh wow, we got 29 plastics. Holy crap, man. Um, you know what? Let's let's fire this guy. Now we have a carrier. Uh, we're stocked up on plastic a little bit. Are you guys gonna finish these? Uh, are you guys gonna finish this? Just gonna finish this. This is high priority. Get it done. We need the food right now. What are we doing here? Is this a thing that's happening? Oh, so we're converting progress into meat and green. I don't know what's green. Fiber. Okay, can I make this bigger? Actually, no. Okay, fine. Okay, do we have burial pit now? Burial pit priority. Uh, it's not done. Okay, perfect. We still have a dead guy laying around. We're building houses. Nuclear fallout strikes in zero days. That is a problem. We are all going to die. <laughs> Construction completed tent. You know what? As long as... Uh, let's just put that there right now. Let's get some high priority on it because... I said people are going to be thirsty. So there's zero. There's zero. 
Is that gonna reach those? Maybe this one Maybe this this one doesn't reach this one, but this one will reach this one so th Okay, okay, it's here Low on food. Okay, we're still low on food. Insufficient construction materials for water well. Okay, good. <laughs> um, Alright, this is it. Rabbit season. Colonists want to try a new trap. Oh, good. Three colonists explain they've been working on a new kind of trap for hunting rabbits, and the group wants to set them outside the camp. The contraptions look functional, but letting the group venture far away from the colony is without is not without risk. Give permission. After having been gone for a suspiciously long time, the group finally returns. The only thing they managed to trap was a single sickly rabbit with enough venison on it for two people at most. Well, that's... Look. Look. We have zero. I guess we have... Oh, production four, consumption seven. Oh, that's all new stuff. Or at least I didn't see it before. That's more than we had, so good job, guys. <laughs> um, is our food gone now? Anyway, wait, wait, is this still... Can I have... More people? No? Are you guys collecting anything? No? What the crap, man? Ah, you know what? Get this, get this pile out of my way. Please. Colonist Hazel is irradiated, okay? Low on food, okay, we know that. Alright. Well, this is, um, this is a problem. What are you waiting for? Mm, one plank? You need one plank? Can you guys pick this up? We could sure use the fish right now. Alright, we're out of food. Can we get over with this, please, so that we can finish things? Two colonists are irradiated. Okay. Lots of people are starving. They're probably going to die soon. <laughs> um, what do we do to fix this? Do we make another... Food storage? I'd rather get this done first. We only need one plank. Commotion in the camp. Suddenly, muffled cries for help are coming from one of the shelters. You rush in to look what is going on. What is going on there? Instead of a colonist, you find a large hole in the middle of the floor. The shelter was apparently built on top of a small sinkhole, which gave in and swallowed one of the inhabitants. A makeshift ladder should help getting the colonists out without injuries. Build a makeshift ladder three planks. Tell the colonists to just climb back up. Make a ladder. Yay! You order a nearby colonist to fetch planks from the stockpile. Together you fashion a set of crude but functional ladders to lower down the sinkhole. The, col the fallen colonist climbs up rattled but otherwise unscathed. The hole is filled and carefully covered to prevent any future surprises. Minus three planks plus four happiness. We did the right thing. Except we just used our planks that I want to use on this thing. Come on, bring a plank out here, dude. Oh, we don't have any carriers? Is that what the problem is? Um, eight population, five workers. Okay, who's working? Uh, one, two, three, four? She's making planks. Where's the other one? Five. They're making food. You're gonna have to take a break here. You're gonna have to be my carrier. Go ahead and bring a plank out here, please. Please, please. Pretty please. Before we all die to death. Yay! No carriers left. Colonists died. Yay! She starved to death. Two colonists are irradiated. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so we only lost, we only lost one in that whole thing. Oh, and now we have no carriers again, right? 
All right. Oh, we got lots of plastic. Um, and we have lots of metal. Let's go ahead and stop the metal guy for now. Can we please get the fishing thing built, guys? Can you? Can you help me out here? Thank you. Build it. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to knock off this guy too, lady. Dude, lady, lady. And then... We're going to have someone working in here. Yep, make me fish. So how are we doing on food right now? We production is six at consumption. Consumption, consumption is six. <laughs> uh, we have water. Okay. Okay, I think we are doing okay right now. Colonist Edward died. Why did you die? Starved to death, dude. No free carriers. Low on food. Insufficient construction materials. Okay, we have no carriers again. But I don't know that that's a huge problem right now. Man, I'm glad I built these tents to... To, um... Aid with reproduction. Why is there no water? This definitely covers that one. Oh, that's green. Eh. Alright, let's, um, here. You know what? This isn't helping anybody. Demolish that thing. Let's put a water tower right here next to the water water. I don't think you're helping anybody either. Let's do this. Let's take that down. And then we'll water it right there. Yeah? Uh, no carriers left. Okay, okay, great. That's just great. Guy is injured, low on food. Another colonist died. Why? Oh no. This is a problem. Well, we shouldn't be low on food here. Yep, we should start getting food in now that everybody's dying. <laughs> Alright. What's going on in here? This guy's injured. Treating. Okay. It's okay. We're, we're not in great shape, but we're... Starved to death? Did someone else just die? Low on food. Joseph is injured. Yeah, okay. Why are you guys starving to death? We've got we've got one food. Alright. It's just gonna take a second to even out here. Someone seems to have been stealing planks from the storage. You order a few colonists to investigate, and to your surprise, they return with a group of rowdy children. One under each arm. Apparently the kids used the planks to build themselves a tree fort in the nearby forest. Leave the fort alone. Tear the fort down. I'll get four planks. Ooh, I'm out of planks. Wow. Leave the fort alone. <laughs> you decide to let the kids have their fun. Who's going to miss a few planks? Well, kind of like we need them because they're the only ones we have. The children are practically beaming with joy after hearing their precious fort will be saved. They thank you profusely. The next day, you find a crude yet immensely colorful thank you card tucked under your doorstep, decorated with whatever might pass for finger paint. We got happiness. All right, people, start uh, reproducing, please. Low on food. Joseph injured. What is this? Oh, waiting for a builder? Oh my god. Uh, oh man, the only guy we have working is this lady. <laughs> right? Total population workers. Three? Two adults and two children. Alright, we kind of just need to wait for one of the kids to grow up. I guess. I don't know. We can't really, like... We still have zero food. We can't take the food guy away. Or this guy. That's getting us food also. So... We kind of... 
Joseph died. Why did you freaking die, man? What the heck? I didn't think I was doing this bad. Total population three. One adult and two children. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What do I do now? Hi. Two colonists approach you with sparkling eyes. Well, there's only one, so I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> An old landfill has been found. Um, I don't have stuff for you, man. Yeah, go do it. One colonist infected, plus two clothes. Great. Uh, colonist is infected. Go to the doctor. Is there anybody working here? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Okay. That's bad. Uh, you. You're a doctor now. One adult and two, two, two children. Are you being treated? Did I fire you from... what? What's happening? Oh, you're fishing now? Stop it. Go be the doctor. How did this go so wrong? I felt we were, like we were doing great. All of a sudden, everybody died. I think we'll come back. I think we can do it. What, is there a dead guy here? Mila. Mason is now an adult! <gasps> yes! Um, go get some food, dude. Colonist Hazel is injured. What the crap, Hazel? Alright, now we have to freaking open the clinic again. Where is the guy? You? Are you in here? Stop. Are you in here now? I think we might come back. We've got two adult workers and one child now. We still don't have any food, but our production is four and our consumption is two. We gotta fix Hazel here. And then I'm gonna put that guy over in fishing, so we'll have a hunter and a fisher. Nora died? She starved to death? Are you serious? Why? What the crap, man? The child died, so now we only have two adults. Am I gonna have to start over? <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. It was not... <sighs> I guess I could have gotten the, the hunter and the fisher... fishing hut up sooner, but we were good on food, and then all of a sudden it's just, bam, it's gone. So... Oh, good. More nuclear fallout. That's ex that'll that'll just that'll be great. <laughs> All right. Have you finished fixing them yet? Okay. Now get out of here. Go over here. Okay. Catching fish. You're catching animals. Good. Whoops. I did it again. Colonist has an idea. One of the colonists approaches you, appearing more than a bit nervous. She says that she might be able to provide some clothing for the colony her grandmother used to teach. Her while she was a child, and she seems fairly confident that she still remembers how it goes. The question is, do you trust her skills? Give her three fiber. Y yeah, sure. You give her some fiber, and she thank you for trusting her. After not hearing from her for a while, you decide to go and have a look. The f little fiber that hasn't been ruined has been mangled into a patchy poorly made coat that will surely fail to protect even from the slightest dripple. Sorry, I really tried, the woman says, unable to meet your gaze. Whatever. We had plenty of that stuff. Nuclear fallout incoming. Perfect. Yes, that's exactly what we need. Ooh, we're making six foods though, and um, only consuming two. I wish we could get people out into the wasteland right now is what we really need. Get some research so we can get the tech tree going because we are, I mean, tra trapper and fishing hut, like that's, that's maxed out our, can we go, can we do anything? No. <sighs> what he said. <laughs> uh, that's all the food we can do, trapper and fisher and then gather berries. So, we're getting some food. So I don't think we're going to die. We have water. We have lots of water. 
I think we might be okay. Dead colonists. Yep. <laughs> Who, who's dead in here? Joseph, cause of death, injury. Really? We're still living. That's all I'm concerned with right now. You two have a baby. We need it right now. Have as many as possible. Okay, nuclear fallout. Can I not look at this? What's happening? There it is. Well, I guess if we survive this, maybe we'll make it. If we don't, then we'll... We'll try again. Down the river. A group of colonists has gotten curious about a nearby river and want to see what it's like for traveling. They've managed to build a simple raft and are eager to test its floating capabilities and what they'd find alongside the riverbank. Well, there's only two of us, so go for it. <laughs> the group finally returns with middling results. The boat started to leak halfway through, and even worse than that, uh, strong streams made the trip extremely exhausting. They had managed to catch some fish, but that's all the trip was worth. 13 fish? Well, that's, that's great. That is amazing. Thank you very much for having 13 fish. Uh, okay, so now that we have 13 fish, can we... Can we kick that guy? And... What do we need? We're running low on plastic? Well, we got all these houses. Uh... What do we need next? Um, we're trying to build these. We don't really need... We need this built. And he's kind of our carrier right now. He could probably get that thing built. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, he's going to build the burial pit. So uh, all the people that died have decomposed by now. So it doesn't really matter. Planks. We're out of planks. This place here produces planks. So I guess when he's done here... Okay, perfect. Uh, you come here and make me some planks. Until we run out of trees. So now that we have a burial pit... No, do not work in the burial pit, man. Work in the, the plank place. <laughs> Wait, can you work in both places? No. Do we have everything we need to make this because we don't have the planks, we have concrete, we have metal, we have plastic. Alright, so 20 planks, and I'm going to tell them to build that gate. A couple comes to you asking if the colony has any rules about parenting. The mother thinks the children should be tasked with handling domestic work, while the father thinks the children are too young and should be allowed to spend their days playing. Side with the mother, side with the father. Plan to have the children educated. Yeah. You agree the children should pitch in, but don't think taking over the domestic task is the best idea. You'll promise to look into educating them in a way which could include light domestic work as means to teach responsibility plus happiness. Well, good. All right, so we need 20 planks. This nuclear doesn't seem to be affecting us, probably because we only have a couple people. Can we have a kid, please? We need a kid or else we're not gonna make it. Unless we get this going because then we can get people coming into the colony. Uh, and that might be our savior actually, is to get this thing going. As long as we can stay alive until then, we'll make it. <laughs> Colonist Mason is infected. Come on, dude. Why you gotta go and be infected, man? Alright, you get out of there. And then go into here. Are you gonna make it, man? Mason? Died. Well, that was fast. He was infected and he died. Well, you know what, lady? You're the last one. It's up to you to make enough planks to build this. You hear loud screaming. A group of colonists <laughs> rush towards you since I'm the only one here. 
Their face is filled with absolute terror. A frenzied mutated bison has gotten inside the colony and has already knocked down a few tents. This issue needs to be handled quickly, but you also do not want to anger the beast further. Offer the bison some food, chase the bison away. Try to take it down. Nope, get it out of here. Colonists gather leaves and grass into a big delicious pile in the middle of the colony. Soon enough, the bison tramples forth, its monstrous body dwarfing everything around it. It circles around the food for a while before calming down to eat. You watch it finish its meal and wait for its next move. Luckily, the bison seems satisfied with the snack and heads back to the forest. Good, because I'm the only one here and we can't have, be dying, you know? So, we're up to 11 planks, actually. If she makes 9 more planks and then builds this, we might make it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it. That's how I like it. Come on. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> Are we gonna make it? Fifteen. Colonist is poisoned. Delirious colonist is carried into the camp. Something seems to have poisoned them, but they are unable to tell what. If you're willing to take the risk, a more intensive treatment might heal them quickly enough for you to locate the source of the poisoning. Something like that could be very valuable for research. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. Ooh, plus 115 research. You decide the information is worth the gamble. The man is taken into treatment, and though his next hour hours are tough and painful, he responds fav favorably and gains his f faculties. Following his instructions, you find a strange bluish rat nestled inside a tree, which is captured for research. Wait. So we've got tech tree. We can get survival skills, hunting and fishing are some of the oldest survival skills known to man. The same tricks our ancestors used to fish and hunt in the Stone Age are as valuable now as they were back in the day. Luckily, there are no mammoths or saber-toothed cats to worry about. So we get production speed plus 20% on fishing and trapping. Uh, is th That's the one I have to do, I, I think. Or... Yeah. Research. Eight hours? That didn't used to be a thing either. You just picked it and it was done. Uh, food? Production? I'm guessing I have to finish this one before I can go on to something else. We still have 65 science points too, so... Anyway, how's our lady doing here? We got 16 planks. We only need four more planks and I think we'll survive. <laughs> I don't believe... Survival skill completed. All right, let's check it out So we did that. What's this one a proper hunter pack can spot and circle and catch their prey a lot faster Or we can do skinning using every bit of the animal is not only so this will be Fiber plus one. This will be work slots plus one. Oh nice Production crowbars Production speed plus 20 for scrapper and recycler. This one will be durability plus 40 on tent and emergency shelter. It's pretty good. It's actually really good. So what do we want? We want production faster on the scrapper and recycler. Eh, I think that we want work slots, but we don't have any people, so it doesn't really matter at the moment. That doesn't matter either. Let's just do this for when we have more people. And we'll worry about it then. None of those are going to help us right at this moment. What are we at? We're at 17. Come on, lady. This is going to be the biggest comeback story <laughs> ever in this game if this works. One person carrying the place until we can get the freaking gate up and operational. This is the last one. This is the last one. Pack tactics. Pack tactics. That's packtastic. All right, that's all we can do right now because that's we don't have enough points for anything else. Do you have the last one? Do you have the last one? Do you have the last one? 
Ooh, doo -doo -doo. 20 we have 20 all right here let's cancel this you get out of here you come here and do this are you gonna do this where are you I want to see where you go N no no bad you just used all their freaking planks are you serious lady can I demolish this cancel construction Oh my god, I'm pissed. Are you serious right now? Oh, she put him in here. Woo! Where'd she go? There you are. What are you doing? Um, your health is good. You're moderately happy. You've got tools and bad clothes. Having fun. Okay. We just might still make it. We're not done yet. Come on, Hazel. Are you having fun? You know you got important stuff to do if you don't want to die? <laughs> Alright, don't kill me with something right now. Come on, five more plastics. Five more plastics. Oh, baby. Oh, put it together. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's doing it. It's about 50% done. It got dark. She went to sleep. Colonist Hazel is infected. Oh no. She's gonna die. Hazel? Are you here? Can you heal yourself? Can you fix yourself? Alright. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, she's gonna get it done. Get it done, get it done, get it done! No! Where are you going? Come on, get it done. Get it done, get it done, get it done. Okay. You go be your own doctor, okay? Right now. Is this gonna work? Can you do that? Is that a thing that can happen? She's not infected anymore. Her she's it's going up. 64. <gasps> look at look at look at look at And we got a guy. We got a guy. Oh my god. Adults, three adults, no children. You got some things like potatoes maybe and and protein bars and tools. It's the darnest thing. I had to bury my own son. I dug as deep as I could. I'm just glad he didn't have to suffer through the radiation. Uh, yeah. We got a guy that can go out into the wasteland. Except... Access the world map. Yep. Oh my gosh. Is this really happening right now? <laughs> And we got a guy. All right, what do we have? We've got food. Uh, yeah, you guy, go go there. Oh man, how do you do this again? And you got it all. He got it all. Perfect. And that's how that works. Um. Whew. Wow, you guys, I do not believe that we survived that. One lady making planks by herself until she could get the gate done so that we could have people come to the gate and join the colony and now we have four people <laughs> and we have a guy that can go search the wasteland now so now we can find resources we can find research points and i think we might make it that just saved all our lives <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today i really do appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for more Surviving the Aftermath and other videos. And I'm just trying to think now, what do we want? Oh, we need the plankers, and we need... Well, actually, they should go gather these planks. We need these two guys going, actually. So that's two... Three... Oh no, we're gonna need food. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> it's st it's still not good. So we need that one. We need that one. She's in here, which we don't need right now. Plastic and metal is okay. We really need planks, to be honest with you. So they should go get that. Uh, we got one more person we could put to work somewhere. I guess we'll just do that for right now. 
And uh, yeah, that's how it's going to go. So thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Please don't forget that if you do enjoy this and you want to see more, to let me know and I will continue. So thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, you guys. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Oh no, intense and imp oppressive heat takes over the area as moisture evaporates. Colonists struggle to keep hydrated and cool while working. Plants wither in the cracked soil. Colonists drink double. Crops die. Build a water tower. We have water tower. We have two water towers. Right? Uh, nope. That one's not done yet. <laughs> and that one's not done yet. We need planks. So, uh, I guess we'll deal with the heat wave next time. Thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Later, guys. <laughs>